everyone. Welcome to the Argyle International Airport and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Enjoy. Most people arriving at an airport aren't greeted by a pageant queen or a prime minister. I'm happy to welcome you to Argyle International. But the passengers on this flight were special. Their arrival has been eight years in the making. Caribbean Airlines Flight 8001 was one of the first direct nonstop flights to touch down at the island's newest international airport on February 14th. To see a white body jet land in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, as I said, to some people it might not be a big, big deal, but considering what we've had to do for this, uh, it, is a, it is a big deal. What they had to do included the removal of three mountains, 130 homes, and the creation of two embankments. The completion date for the $240 million development, the largest capital project in the nation's history, was delayed every year since 2011. We gave some unfortunate dates, some, I think, unrealistic dates in terms of when we could have completed a, a project of this magnitude, but in the end, it's been worth it. Barry Prince agreed that the four-hour flight from New York City was worth it. It was a kind of surreal experience, to be honest. Um, just to think that you could fly direct from New York to St. Vincent, it's, it's something that I couldn't fathom, but it's reality, so then I have to just deal with it. So I think, to me, it was a great feeling. Before Argyle International Airport opened, Getting to St. Vincent and the Grenadines required a flight to a neighboring island first, a layover, and then a transfer to a short-haul airliner to arrive on the island. We've waited so long um, for this to happen to St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and we're all very, very excited. It's why Patron McIntosh didn't think twice about taking the inaugural Sunwing Airlines flight out of Toronto, Canada. She says she had to be a part of the celebration at home. This is history and I have to be a part of history. These direct flights won't just bring in more people. The additional shipment of goods is expected to boost agriculture and other trade industries. But amid the excitement, there are questions as to whether the island can handle a significant increase in visitors. Plans are already in the works to build other hotels to meet the expected demand. Until a deal between the airport and several major airlines is reached, you won't be able to find these flights on sites like Expedia or Hotwire. However, you will be able to get to St. Vincent and the Grenadines in half the time. In Argyle, St. Vincent, I'm Melissa Noel.